Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WooCommerce video series. In this video, we are going to install a free plugin to create products table in a WooCommerce website. Let me show you an example of the products table. So this is the products table that I have created using the free plugin. Here you will see the list of products in a table format. Here you can see the thumbnail, the product title and some description, price, quantity, action is about add to cart. Here you can see that it is compatible with the variable products also. So customer can select the variation from the table itself and they can add the product to the cart. At the top, you will see the search box. If someone wants to search for the product, they can enter the keyword and all the products using the same keyword will be listed in the table format. You can also filter the products according to the categories. Here you will see the categories. If I select t-shirts, all the products in the same category will be listed here. This product table is fully customizable. You can make changes. You can add new columns. If you want to remove the columns, you can remove the columns also. I have already published a video on another free plugin to create the products table in a WooCommerce website. This is the video that I have already published to create the products table in a WooCommerce website. In this video, I have used another free plugin. If you want to watch this video, I'll give you the link in the description box. You can compare both the plugins and after that you can decide which plugin is suitable for your WooCommerce website. So let's see how does this work. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and we are using WooCommerce on this website. Now we are going to install the free plugin to create the products table in WooCommerce website. So let's go to the dashboard of the WordPress website. Here go to plugins and click on add new. Now search for Woo product table. Now here you will see many different plugins. So this is the plugin on which I have already published a detailed video. I'll give you the link in the description box. Now in this video, we are going to install a different plugin. And this is the plugin that we are going to install product table for WooCommerce by Code Astrology. This is also a free plugin. It does have a pro version. However, we are going to work on the free plugin only. So click on install now. Click on activate. All right, so the plugin is activated. So in the left hand side, you will see the option Woo product table. If you move the cursor on it, you can see different options. Let's go to configure. So from here, you can make the changes to the basic settings. Some of them are for the pro version only. So these are the basic settings of the plugin. Let's do one thing. Let's create a product table and let's see how does this look on the actual page. So here you will see the option product table. Click on it. Right now there are no tables. So I'm going to create a new one. Click on add new. And name it as let's say product table one. So whatever name you want, you can enter the name here. And I'm going to publish it. Let's see how the default layout looks. So here we have created a sample product table and this is the short code that we're going to use. So I'm going to open one of the pages here. On this website, I'm using Elementor page builder. If you're using the default WordPress Gutenberg, then you can use the Gutenberg short code block to install the code. So I'm going to the demo page. I have one demo page here and I'm going to add the short code on this demo page. Okay, let me add a new section here. Let's add some padding. Click on the plus sign and look for short code. Drag it and drop it. Whichever page builder you are using, you can use the short code. So I'm going to product table and I'm going to copy this short code. And enter the short code here, paste it here and click on update. Now let's see how does this look. So here you can see the default WooCommerce product table is added using this short code. This is a simple search box. Here you can filter the categories. Let's see, I'm going to select t-shirts and you will see all the products from the t-shirts. 
So from here you can select or filter using the categories. If you want to search, you can enter the keyword here. Let's say green. You can see I have searched for mug and all the products related to this keyword are listed in the table. So I'm going to delete all categories. If you want to add product, you can simply click on it and it will get added to the product. So you will see the add to cart option is available in the product table. Let's go back to the product table settings and let's see what settings we have. So here you can see table configuration, columns. If you want to add new column, you can simply select one of the columns here. Right now we have action, check, price, product, quantity and thumbnails. So here you will see the check, thumbnail, products, price, quantity and action. These are the columns that we have. If you want to add another column, you can simply select one of them. Let's see, I'm going to select category. So I'm going to click on it. And you will see the category is added here at the bottom. So I'm going to move it above the action. Click save changes. Let's go back to the page and refresh it. And here you will see the categories column is added. So this is how you can add the column to the table. So I'm going to delete this one. You can go here and uncheck it and it will get deleted. If you want to move the position of these columns, you can move the position. Let's say I'm going to change the position of thumbnails just before the action. Save the changes. Refresh it. And here you can see the position of the thumbnails has been changed just close to the action column. So I'm going to revert it. I'm going to put it back to, to the beginning. Now here you can change the style settings also. Let's see, this is the price. If you click on expand, from here you can change the color, the text color, background color. Some of these settings are for the premium version only. Let's move to the next tab that will be query. So right now it is showing the tables from all the categories. You can filter the table using categories. So it will show the products only for that particular category. If I click on it, I can see all the categories. Uh, let's see, I want t-shirts. So it will show only the products from the t-shirts category. Similarly, you can exclude the category. You can select all categories here. And if you want to exclude one of the categories, you can select from here. Taxonomy, sorting order, ascending or descending, default sorting, menu order. So these are the basic settings for the sorting. Stock status, in stock, out of stock, sell product. So it will show only the sell products. How many posts per page? So right now it is set to 20. Let's save the changes. We have included only the t-shirts category. Let's refresh it. And you will see products only from the t-shirts category. So this is how you can create a table using the categories only. So I'm going to delete this one. Save it. Let's go to the next tab that is design. So this is the default style. This is the default style. If you want to change it, there are some options. Template none, beautiful blacky, greeny, ready. So I'm going to select beautiful blacky. If you want to customize manually, then you will need to go for the premium version. You can see the options here to change the colors. As of now, we are using the free plugin. So I have selected this option. There are some options available. Let's save the changes. Refresh and check. And here you can see that this is the beautiful blacky template. Let's go back. Let's try another one. Go to design, change it to greeny. refresh it so this is the green one you can see the title in green add to cart in green so these are the options available for the free version 
let's go to the next option that is options so these are the basic settings for the options pagination ajax action i think you do not need to worry about these settings the default settings are good let's go to the next one that is search and filter so the first option is show search box so you will see the search box here if you do not want it you can hide it this is a mini filter let's save the changes refresh and check now the search box is not there we have just disabled it so i'm going to enable it again show the search box now instead of search box we will try mini filter and save the changes refresh it and here you will see the mini filter according to the categories so i'm going to hide the mini filter and i'm going to use the search box save the changes next option is configuration this is available only for the pro version if you want to make more changes you can go for the pro version let me show you the pricing of this plugin so here you can see the pricing of this plugin is 49 dollars so this is how you can use the free plugin to create the product tables in a woocommerce website so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video thanks for watching quick tips